Hi guys, just thought we'd do a quick video today on the Mark II TBS bore bushcraft knife. We've made some changes from the Mark I and I've had some questions and queries from you about like, people can't really see what the differences are. I'm just going to go through some of the differences that, that we've done now. So the first most obvious change that we made is we actually added liners. So on all knives now they're going to come red liners or in some cases it might be a different colour but this is the liners. There's a couple of reasons for this. One was uh, first, one it looks quite nice and decorative. Um, it also differentiates between the Mark 1 and the Mark 2 but there is a thought that it actually aids in heat transition so obviously metal and wood expand, conduct heat differently and expand at different rates and it can help stabilise the handle a little bit more. The second quite major difference is in the stainless steel version. So the carbon steel version, Mark 1, hasn't changed very much at all. We just added red liners to it. Still obviously great knife, 4 mil bar stock steel. With the stainless steel version, it used to be, in the Mark 1, it used to be 5mm thick. We had this the idea to make it a real, you know, it's a big, big wood processing tool, but we've got the Grizzly, so if you want something thicker, go for the Grizzly. Now, if you buy the bore, it's 4mm whether you're having carbon or stainless. You can see the difference in thicknesses there. So the second major difference is the sheath and the collection of sheaths that we now offer with the Mark II variant. Some Mark I's did come with a Mark II sheath, that was a sort of crossover period, but all Mark II's will obviously come with a Mark II leatherwork with all the different sheaths available and different accessory packages. So the differences mainly will be that we've rotated the multi-carry section and made it into almost like a dangler loop. This way, if you do carry it vertically, it hangs much better. It sits lower on your belt, so it doesn't dig into your hip at all. And, but it still has the option of carrying it horizontally through the belt like that in the scout carry fashion. The other thing we do, we did was we changed these straps. So instead of Velcro, they are now a double press stud. There's a couple of reasons for this. One, Velcro tends to wear out over a period of time. Press studs seem to last longer. But also, it means that you could actually expand this if you need be. So I've seen a couple of things where you can carry some cord in here or other accessories. Either way, we think it gives a bit more of a positive and stronger bond in that particular area. So the Mark II leatherwork, um, we think it's another great upgrade. You could always have the stand, our standard sheath. This was just a simple slip sheath. People would just want to carry a knife, you know, nothing more, and then carry any accessories they might have separately. With the Mark II multi-carry sheath, you've always got the option where you can add, add to your package with a to carry a sharpening stone and a fire steel. This is a removable pouch that is in our modular sheaths. But the other option that we've put on is what we call the, the full cover. Now this full cover sheath will fit, we've got it actually in three different sizes and it will fit loads of different knives. So even if you haven't got a TBS knife, it will fit things like a Mora Garberg, most of the Heli -like range, almost all the Mora range to be honest. Um, and loads and loads of different things. It's especially good at things like uh, Woodlaw style knives because they don't particularly have a thumb guard, sorry, a finger guard, and it, it, doesn't, get, it doesn't hold in our other multi-carry sheaths. So having a full flap means you can carry it in the 
scout carry fashion. All that way around. And still have the security there, you know you're not going to lose your knife. And this is exactly the same design as our multi carry sheath, except we've changed it and put a flap all over it so it covers the knife completely. All in all, the bore, we just take the, the bore, which is already a great knife, up to just another level. And we've also got, at the moment, we've got our special editions as well, which come in the uh, even harder N690 cobalt steel with a stabilised wood handle. Again, slightly more expensive, but again, you're paying for, paying for the materials there. We also have our military model, which is a canvas micata handle and that again is an N690CO. Um, all in all there is a great range of steels and handle varieties available and a great range of leather work so you can really kind of tailor make the knife to how you want it and not be pigeonholed into well this is the knife take it or leave it as so many other companies seem to do. They don't seem to offer the same, same level of flexibility.